this is my first video that I'm ever making with my new camera that I just told you guys about in one of my previous videos. It is a Canon G7X. It's my first time using it, so if this video isn't the best, that is why. We are doing our house tour video today. Why you guys are going? So we're gonna go bye bye in a minute. I asked you guys on my Instagram channel if you would like me to do a house tour. The majority of the people said yes, but there were a few people who said no. And basically they just had concerns for like safety. So for safety reasons, I'm not going to show you guys the outside of my house. Just so anyone around here, you know, they can't really tell what house is mine and those types of things. I will show you guys a picture of a house that is very similar to mine. I just want you guys to know before we start the tour that we do live in a trailer, okay? I know people have horrible things to say about them, trailer park, trailer park trash, all those types of things. We do live in a trailer. I prefer to call it a mobile home, um, but yes, it is a trailer. It's a trailer park. I do know a lot of people are probably going to have mean things to say about that and whatever. That's your own prerogative. I have my reasoning. I don't know about where everybody else lives, but where we live. All of the houses that they have for rent are actually really run down and crappy. We were living in an apartment. I wanted to move out of an apartment into a house. I had weird neighbors, weird male neighbors who I lived near and like I had to be like kind of like closed in with them I felt like and I really did not like that. So I really wanted to move to a space where I had my own house. I didn't have to see people in the hallway, those types of things. I started really looking into renting a house. And all the houses around here are well over a thousand dollars, just run down, crappy, old, you know, no appliances. And it was just really bumming me out because it was like, first of all, I can barely afford to move into one of these. And then I'm going to have to buy all these appliances and it's just not what I like. I don't like it at all. I didn't even ever consider or want to consider living in a trailer. Um, I myself had bad things that I thought about them. And then, you know, I saw some pictures online of the one that we live in now, and I was like, wow, this is actually really nice. And so that is how we ended up here. It's a three-bedroom, two-bathroom house. It has all of the appliances. I'm talking washer and dryer, which you will never find in an apartment. You will have to do your laundry in the basement or whatever in the laundry room. All appliances, washer, dryer, dishwasher, fridge, stove, everything. And we were the first people to ever move into it, so it was all brand new. Really, really nice. So that is why we live in a trailer, guys. I just wanted you to know, at the time when I moved in here, I had terrible credit. I'm talking about like 300 some credit. There was absolutely no way I could afford to buy a house. So that is why we're here. Just so you guys know, please, please don't judge me. So let's get this house tour started. So when you first walk in, you walk into like the main living area. Hi, puppy. And this is basically like an open concept and we all just hang out in here all the time. But I'm actually going to start at the other end of the house. So first I'm going to show you guys the kids bathroom. I call it the kids bathroom because it's at the end of the house that the kids rooms are on. But really everybody uses this bathroom. It's kind of like a guest bathroom too because it's the one that everybody uses when they come over. But it's this really cute blue bathroom. I know it's small. Um, Lyle actually picked out all these decorations. He's very proud of it. And with that being said, now I'm going to show you guys Lyle's room. It's a very boyish room. He picks out all of his own decorations. This is his little hermit crab cage. And this is like his Minecraft posters. That's kind of one of his favorite things. Here's his new TV. He actually already had a TV, but he went and bought himself this TV. He saved up his money for it. And just like every boy in this generation, he is absolutely in love with video games. And also very in love with stuffed animals. Um, this one right here, his little hammy he's had since he was just a toddler. This lizard thing right here, my boyfriend got him on that on vacation. Uh, this little crocodile right here, I bought him that when I was on vacation. So he has like really sentimental type stuffed animals. Oh, and this green blanket right here, I actually got him that when he was like first born and he still uses it and sleeps with it every night.
And now I'm going to show you guys Ellie Girl's room. She actually just got a complete room makeover and we made it into a big girl room so that we could get her sleeping in her big girl bed. She's just got all these cute little girly decorations all over. Um, lots and lots of toys. Lots of toys. This is like her little Ellie sign that somebody made me when I was pregnant with her and I really love it. She actually picked out all of this bedding all by herself and she also has a stuffed animal collection that she loves and is obsessed with. And this is like a little thing that somebody made me when I was pregnant with her as well and I just love it so much. Well, our dog didn't want to leave the room. <laughs> so this is like just our hall area, I guess, and this is where we just store all of our shoes. It's kind of a mess. And then I got like cute pictures of me and the kids on here and just little decorations. And then this is my living room. I'm actually very proud of this coat rack right here because I got it for $10 at a flea market and I just love it since we don't have a hall closet. And this is the TV where we watch hours upon hours of Moana and trolls and things like that. Ellie has a little basket of toys over here. And then this is like my couch and my love seats. I actually got them for like $400 on Craigslist. And then here's a cute little picture of my babies, one of my favorite ones. And here's like some decorations and another cute, really cute picture of them. Over here is like our little dining room area. It's very small. Um, here's some flowers that Kyle recently got me because he is so freaking sweet. They are dying though. And then here is Ellie's little like PJ Masks thing that she's supposed to eat over, but honestly she still gets food all over the table. And yeah, this is my kitchen. It's probably my favorite part of my house. I just think it looks really cute. Um, here is my little coffee area. I would die without coffee. The kitchen basically is what sold me on the house because I felt like it looked so modern and so nice that it didn't really look like a trailer. I love to have my fridge decorated with pictures of my nephews and obviously a million school pictures of Lyle. I actually don't have any school pictures of Ellie yet because she's still not in school. Um, pictures of me and my mom at my friend's wedding. Pictures of me and Kyle from Chuck E. Cheese. And yeah, I just really love having a cute fridge with pictures all over it. So if you come over here, we have like a little laundry area. It's pretty plain and small and boring. So I'm not really gonna go into detail about this area. It's kind of a mess too. And then here is my room. The first thing you see is my dog's kennel. He only goes in there whenever I leave the house, otherwise he will literally tear up anything he can get his hands on. This is my bed, and a lot of people think it's weird that I have my TV like right in front of my bed, but I just think it's so nice to lay there and have it right in front of your face. Uh, my nightstand and my planner, and then over here, is a dresser and a mirror. This is one of my favorite baby pictures of Ellie. I just love it so freaking much. And then this is what Kyle got me for Christmas. It's the stars above his house on our first date. And then this big mirror so I can check out my clothes before I leave the house. And now this is my bathroom that's in my room. I'm pretty much the only one that uses this bathroom. It's also pretty small pretty plain. Not much to it, but I like it. I think it's nice, especially for a trailer. And then here's like a nice storage area where I keep all of my beauty products and towels and stuff. And yeah, so that is my house tour. Hopefully you guys have a different outlook on trailers now like I do. Oh, and this is my baby blanket that I've had since I was a baby. I love it so much. But like I was saying guys, I really hope if any of you had anything bad that you thought about trailers that I've given you a different outlook on them because I really am proud of this house and I really do love living here. Bye everybody.